For many of you, this is all you ever see of the DuPont plant located along the Cape Fear River near Wilmington, North Carolina. But for the 1,400 people who work here, there's so much more. I'm Pat Noday. I'd like to tell you a little about this plant. Down this road is one of America's largest fiber producing plants, making one of the world's best known products, Dacron polyester fiber. At the end of the road, just beyond the trees, is the manufacturing area located on 400 acres next to the Cape Fear River. Construction on this plant started in 1965. What you see here is just part of the total 2,200 acres DuPont owns in Brunswick County. What is not used for manufacturing is kept as a nature preserve for wildlife. The Cape Fear plant is just one of six DuPont plants in North Carolina and one of more than 100 sites worldwide. This plant is located here for several reasons. First, the people who live in this part of North Carolina form a skilled and reliable workforce to operate this plant. In addition, Wilmington is a deep seaport along the Atlantic Ocean used by ships from all over the world. In the case of DuPont, it receives a petroleum product called paraxylene, a raw material that is brought to this tank farm along the river. DuPont then receives this liquid chemical by an underground pipeline. Another reason the plant is here is the good supply of water available from the Cape Fear River. This plant borrows a lot of water from the river each day to use in its processes. And finally, the Cape Fear site is near our customers, the textile mills which make the fabrics from our Dacron polyester. These fabrics, made by our customers, are then used in clothing, automobile upholstery, carpeting, and hundreds of other products you purchase. This plant uses paraxylene and ethylene glycol to make polyester yarn and staple. DuPont Research Laboratories developed the process for making polyester over 40 years ago. Since then, it's become the most popular man-made fiber because it's durable, it's versatile, it's easy to clean, and yes, it doesn't shrink. So DuPont makes the Dacron polyester yarn and staple. That's sent to our customers who use it to make a wide range of products for consumer and industrial use, ranging from A to Z from aprons, to bottles, to carpets, to pants, quilts, from ties to videotape, wire insulation, right through to zippers. This alphabet of products, all of these items start as yarn or staple made at DuPont's Cape Fear plant. Now that you've seen some of the hundreds of products made from the polyester fibers made by DuPont, let me tell you a little about how this plant operates. The most important part of this plant is its people. This plant is one of the largest employers in this area. These people and their families have a major impact on the local economy. This plant's local payroll of $50 million each year adds about $150 million to the local economy. In addition, the company buys about $70 million worth of goods and services in North Carolina. The company pays about 10% of Brunswick County's property taxes and if you add this together, this plant adds about $250 million each year to the economy of North Carolina. DuPont employees are ordinary people who come together, one plus one plus one, to form a team to achieve uncommon results. They each bring unique talents and skills, along with a diversity of ideas which make the plant a successful enterprise. They do a wide variety of jobs, some operate complex machines. Others keep those machines operating. Some keep records on one of the most advanced computer systems in the country. Some keep track of the quality of the product shipped to our customers. But every one is part of the most successful industrial safety program in the world. DuPont holds several world safety records. DuPont plants are some of the safest places in the world to work. And that's because of a dedication to safety each worker brings to the job. DuPont would not be the leader in our field, though, without having the highest quality product required for our customers to meet their commitments. This means constantly checking, constantly testing and sampling to make sure that our fibers do meet our customers' needs. To this end, many of our customers periodically come to this plant to audit our quality methods. At the same time, we have to make sure that our suppliers provide us with quality ingredients. Because quality product and on-time delivery at the lowest possible price 
are the reasons that our customers buy from DuPont year after year. Now our site and our product are registered with the International Standards Organization. But DuPont's performance is measured in several ways. Quality and price of the product are just two of them. But another is how well we protect the environment. Take the Cape Fear River, for example. DuPont recognizes the importance of clean water. The plant borrows over 7 million gallons of water every day from the river. But before the water is returned, it is treated so that it is cleaner than when it was taken out. Here is where the water is cleaned up. This waste treatment plant is large enough to treat waste from a city the size of Charlotte, North Carolina, and costs DuPont millions of dollars to operate, but that is necessary to keep the river clean. This is what the water looks like when we take it out of the river. The water returned to the river is clearer and cleaner. It's greater than 99% free of biodegradables which consume precious oxygen needed by the aquatic life in the river. DuPont's performance exceeds all federal and state requirements for wastewater. Another area of concern is the air. Emissions into the air from the plant are well under state and federal permit limits but DuPont has further committed to reducing toxic air emissions by 75%. In addition, this site will reduce carcinogens by 90% by the turn of the century. And all CFCs, the chemicals suspected of destroying the ozone layer, will be phased out. And as far as hazardous waste goes, those will be cut by an additional 35%. All of these changes will be achieved by improving the process, by recycling some chemicals and recovering others. As an example of air quality improvements, take a look at those stacks on the steam generation plant. What do you see? Nothing. That's because the solids are trapped in filters before they ever even reach the air. Everything we put into the air, or the water, is reported to state and federal authorities, and we're well under the legal limits. But that's not enough for DuPont. Our engineers are constantly testing and monitoring to see where further improvements can be made. Notice the gadget clipped to that mechanic. That is monitoring the air he's breathing. This is one way scientists can check the quality of air each employee breathes. DuPont keeps the air, the water, and the ground clean. Not just because it's the law, but because it's the right thing to do. It's been DuPont's policy for nearly 200 years to reduce pollution. After all, the people who work here live in this community. So they, like everyone else, want to keep the community clean. And speaking of living in the community, let's look again at DuPont's employees. One thing you could say is they are active in their communities. They participate in numerous professional, civic, and church activities. They participate in the work of the United Way, where people help people. They serve with distinction on local volunteer fire departments. They're important to the success of volunteer rescue squads. The ball's hit, it's going to head and turn. Watch the ball. They coach athletic teams. DuPont people are leaders in youth groups. DuPonters take an active role on school boards, city and county governing bodies, and on advisory councils for the state. Well, we've got a lot of problems we need to. I'll give you this ball. Let me see how good you are at bouncing the ball. DuPont actively supports education, too. DuPont has a program called Fun with Science in schools to promote interest among students pursuing careers in science. The problem that we'll have this morning is a fairly simple problem to isolate. We'll bring the fire DuPont is also a leader in community safety. Its employees are always ready to share knowledge and training, like our emergency drills. All right, let's go forward about five, six steps. Step. Emergency response teams from the community and DuPonters regularly join forces, testing the latest equipment and techniques, each learning from each other. Here, a specially designed tank car is used to train emergency response teams to fight a fire on a railroad car. When it comes to responding to chemical emergencies, DuPont has a mutual aid agreement with the surrounding community to respond with our 1,000 gallon per minute capability foam truck. We also have a transportation emergency response team with a fully equipped trailer which is always on call. So you see, DuPonters are important to their community. 
I've shown you how this plant operates, how the people who work here make quality polyester used in hundreds of products you use every day. I've shown you how they help to keep the environment clean. I've also shown you some of the many ways they participate in community activities. So you can see this plant does more than make high quality polyester yarn and staple. It's an important part of the community. Your community. Thank <laughs> you.